Hi, this is Afsal here with another HTML and CSS tutorial. Today we're going to start a login form similar to PayPal's. This is part one of a series where we'll code the form from start to finish. So we'll put in some styles. The style tag always goes between the head and the closing head tags. We'll style the body and we'll have a sans font. Like so and then we'll have a font size of 18px. We'll add a section, we'll give it an ID of login form, and we'll style that section. We want the login form to be in the center, and we can achieve that by margin zero auto. And we'll give it a width of 460 pixels. So now let's add in the outer box. We've got a div with ID outer box. Let's put in some styles. And these styles are actually taken from the PayPal form itself, which you can find by inspect element. Put in a border with a gray color, a margin, some padding. Let's round those corners. It's a little bit faint, the border. So I'll increase the width just for visibility reasons. Yeah, that's better. If you do notice any of the elements not centering properly, that might be because we've not defined box sizing. And we can do that by box sizing border box. Now let's add a logo. With an image tag, give it ID of logo. Let's make it a bit smaller, 100 pixels width, height 100 pixels. Let's get it in the center again by margin zero auto. But because images are inline, then we have to put a display block to get it in the center. It's still a little bit large, so I'll make it smaller, much better. Let's put in the form tags and let's now do the inputs. So the first input is email. We'll give it an ID of email, type email, that helps with the browser validation. And we'll give name email. The placeholder is the text within the input. We'll add the next input, which is password. Type is password. And the name is password, keeping everything consistent. Placeholder, again, password. Let's style the inputs. Give it a height, a width, some padding. Again, these tiles were taken from the actual PayPal form. Let's give it a border, gray border again. Let's get some distance between the two inputs. And we need to put the font size here because the font size of inputs are not inherited from the body tag. I'll give some rounded corners. And now we're going to actually style the placeholder. And you do that with the pseudo element. We'll just make the input border a little bit more prominent. And let's put in the forgot password part. That's going to be a link. Give it an ID. Put some styles. We don't want it underlined. So that's text decoration none. Let's give it our branding color. And again, make it bold. Finally, let's add the button. Give it an ID. Give it a class.
login, put in the styles, give it a width of 100%. Get some padding. Get some space at the top of it. Get the color, go onto our branding colors. Let's remove that black border. That's done by border zero, border none. Let's call it get the color white. Get some rounded corners. And again, the font size is not inherited from the body, so we have to include it here. If you notice that when we hover over the button, it doesn't change to the pointer. So we have to include that here. So just changing the width of the border of the outer box back to one pixel. And for the inputs. Okay, so that completes this tutorial. Thank you.